The week kicked off with the focus on less favorable U.S. dollar yield differentials in the aftermath of Friday's less than impressive U.S. jobs report before the focus quickly shifted to Brexit and the free-falling pound. Theresa May's delay of the parliamentary vote on her Brexit deal was the fuel that fed the bearishness, with the Prime Minister trying to do whatever possible to avoid what was looking like it was going to be a humiliating defeat. The EU Commission wasn't there to make things any easier for the process after saying there would be no renegotiation on the Brexit deal. UK data only added to the pound's demise, with manufacturing, production, trade and GDP prints all coming in soft. The market was waiting on the ECJ ruling on Article 50 and was ready for the decision which stated a member state was free to revoke unilaterally its notification of intent to leave the EU. Aside from the weakness in the pound, markets were otherwise quiet to start the week. Looking ahead, Tuesday's calendar features some business confidence and conditions data out of Australia, UK employment readings, German and Eurozone ZEW prints, and US producer prices. That's all for now.